Okay, dear students, now there are three derivations in this chapter. And for the derivation, diagram is necessary because it has one mark. So, diagram the simple. Now, A is an object which is moving with initial velocity V i and after time t, its velocity becomes V f and acceleration A a is produced because you know that <coughs> rate of change of velocity is called acceleration. First of all, you have to draw the diagram, then description of the diagram is necessary. You will start the description of diagram with one of the three words let suppose are consider. Likewise, you can see let a body A moves with initial velocity Vi after time t its velocity becomes Vf and acceleration A is produced. Now, as you have read about the acceleration, so according to the acceleration, A is equal to delta V upon T. When delta V is change in velocity, we can write it delta V is equal to Vf minus V. Now, by putting the value of delta V in above equation, we get a is equal to Vf minus Vi upon T. By cross multiplication, we get Vf minus Vi is equal to A2 or Vf is equal to Vi plus A2. So, this is the first equation which is proved. And for the examination, it has two marks or three marks. But 0.5 or 1 marks is for the diagram. So, you have to draw the diagram whenever there is derivation, you have to draw the diagram. Next, we will prove the second equation of motion.